Oh my gosh, this is a spot like no other. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Dave K here today for a thrilling road trip kind of day. Today, we're leaving Phoenix, Arizona, but you may be asking yourself, Dave, where are we going? Today, we're headed up two hours to Flagstaff, Arizona. So excited to spend some time up in Flagstaff. I'm gonna be perfectly situated between Sedona and the Grand Canyon. So I'm gonna get the chance to see all the beautiful mountains here in Arizona. Now, I did recently learn that it's like 30 degrees or more colder up there. So it might be uh, quite chilly, but otherwise gonna be a fantastic time. So excited to see these beautiful mountain structures. I thought it was beautiful out here. And you've got like mountains in your backyard. I can't wait to see what the Grand Canyon looks like. So I'm gonna see if I can get you situated maybe on that hook that hooks onto the car somehow, or if not, a wrist strap or head strap. We'll show you some of the drive and then so much Flagstaff for us to enjoy. Join me here on leg, is this 2.5? I think it's leg three. I'm calling it leg three. We're heading up to Flagstaff, Arizona. Let's do it. Unbelievably amazing drive so far. If you can't see it right here, you've got your GoPro mount. That's what you were attached to looking out the window there. Unbelievable views just all around canyons. You've got the cacti and the foliage and the valleys and oh my gosh, mountains. Unbelievable across the board. GoPro did die near the end there, last 15 minutes or so. There were some, some nice multicolored canyons and such, but I'm sure we'll capture so much more absolutely loving the adventure so far this drive is just incredible it's a beautiful part of the country now i'm taking a quick pit stop here at starbucks might end up grabbing a drink maybe i'll take a call from here and only a little bit further to go i want to say about 45 maybe 50 minutes or so until we make it to flagstaff but man i'm just it's unbelievably amazing so far it's just such a beautiful part i'm not sure i've seen anything quite as beautiful in in i feel like in the States, I, it depends how you define it, right? Like, of course there's beautiful places like Hawaii and all that, but this is just unbelievable. It's, it's, it's unbelievable amount of like desert Canyon foliage nature, which is just fantastic. So let's get in there, maybe grab a drink and then we'll be on our way. One other thing to note, a couple other things to note. I just opened the door really quickly. It's it's chilly out there. It's definitely colder than it was in Phoenix. So as much as the sun is beating down so nicely, I'm gonna wear my jacket too, just in case I need it. We'll see. Also, static electricity, really interesting observation. I've never had this experience before. My bed was so staticky last night. You could see the little pieces of lightning shooting out from all the different uh, bed sheets every time you move the sheet. It was like left and right. I wanna say there must have been uh, a hundred different lightning sparks that I saw as I moved the sheet across the bed. Just the static so intense there. So really hadn't had that experience before. Apparently with the uh, climate being so dry, it can lead to that. So 
what I did was I took a metal hanger and I rubbed it across the sheets over and over, just left and right, to try to get some of the static out of there. And I got a good bit of it out of there. You know, maybe, I don't know, 50% or so. It was, it was not as crazy as it was initially, but yeah, super staticky bed. And I guess that's a part of the dry climate here in Arizona. Turns out this Starbucks here was also a Basha's. Apparently it's a local Arizona grocery store Basha's here. So I got a hot meal. This is gonna be my lunch. Got a sandwich here, honey roasted turkey bacon sandwich on uh, a cheese bagel. And then you got your soup here on the side. It's a Mexican style meatball soup. Excited to give it a shot, see what we think. And then we'll be on our way. The food was pretty good here in Basha's. It was pretty fresh. I would say nice to have that bagel. And it was kind of custom made too, in a way. You could choose your bagel and all of that. Nice sandwich, but the sandwich was cold. <laughs> I had, uh, I think it was intentionally cold, and then the soup was very hot. So I had the soup and half the sandwich. I have the other half in the bag for later. Let's get rolling yet again. So excited to show you these views. I mean, look across from me there. It's hard to see, you know, at this angle. So we'll see if we can get you some more, uh, some more shots as we're rolling, but it's, it's beautiful from here. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've made it. Welcome to Flagstaff, Arizona. We've made it to our Airbnb here. And let me show you the look around the room. And I'm gonna tell you some fun facts. First of all, you'll see that there's this nice closet here. You've got this whole kind of screen closet dynamic. Really interesting facts here. Apparently we're 7,000 feet up. I just found this out from our hosts. I thought I saw 6,000 sign on the way in. I saw snow on the way in, but absolutely beautiful drive. Right now charging my GoPro batteries on the bed, so ignore that. This is queen size here. Got your little mirror going on over there. I've got some luggage already put out in various places. You know, I had some work to take care of and all that. But man, absolutely amazing to be out here. Freezing though, really, really cold out there. Again, 7,000 feet up. You know what's really interesting? As we got some snacks down in the Phoenix area, look at what happened to this bag. I got this from Trader Joe's, this uh, spicy porkless plant-based snack rinds. And look how puffy that bag is. It used to be a normal puffiness. So yeah, you know, elevation. Increased the size of that air it had some uh, some you, you could tell we're actually at a higher elevation really really cool and freezing out there But we're gonna stay warm bundled up and all that good stuff This is the Airbnb excited to be in Flagstaff and share the third leg the thrilling third leg of our Fantastic sprint adventure with you so much to look forward to while we're here. Let's get to it I'm also starting to feel the altitude. I've got the light headache going on here um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. Maybe it's also just because it's been a busy day and all the stress going on, but yeah, there's, there's an altitude difference, feeling a little bit of headache. I don't usually get headaches. We'll see how it plays out, but letting you know those, those altitude symptoms are there, but I'm really excited to check it out. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Dave K here today, and it's time for our Flagstaff fun-filled adventures. Continuing the fun here in Flagstaff, I'm so excited to share with you all the fun things I'm planning to get up to while I'm out here. Lots of sightseeing to be had. But first, a couple things I'd like to show you just from right here in the Airbnb. Take a look outside the window and you can see, yep, that's uh, that's snow out there, icy kind of snow. Maybe it is ice technically, kind of stuck for a couple days. It was there last night when I arrived to all that white stuff right up in there. It's 20 degrees outside right now, so real, real chilly. But uh, we're doing our best to stay warm. We're gonna get some work done and uh, then enjoy some cold activities. Take a look at that beautiful mountain view just outside my window here. Wow, and this is just like five minutes from my Airbnb. Absolutely crazy. Don't know if you can tell, my uh, my throat's a little bit dry here. You know, it's uh, it's cold and it is very dry here in uh, in the Flagstaff area. So worth noting, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit chilly, a little bit dry. Make sure you bring uh, your own personal humidifier maybe. Really, really beautiful place. Incredible to see the mountains and the snow. I saw some tumbleweed this morning rolling by, but so excited to share this next destination with you. Just 15 minutes from my Airbnb. So excited to check out a national monument right here in Flagstaff, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we are. I'm so excited to tell you where we're at and what's going on, but I realize that I have to park first. So give me one moment. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the one and only National Monument here in Flagstaff. It's not the only National Monument here in Flagstaff, but it's the one and only Walnut Canyon National Monument here in Flagstaff. 
So excited to check out this national monument with you. Beautiful day. So excited to get out there and check it out. Man, I'm, I'm stoked for this. I was super excited. I feel super fortunate with flexibility at work. They were saying, hey, you know, if those monuments are closing at five, why not go out, see them now, come back and work later? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, so excited, so fortunate with work. And I'm so excited to be able to go out here and share it with you. And I have another exciting update for you indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to announce I'm also now an annual pass holder. But... Not, not maybe to what you're thinking, if you're used to the Disney vlogs or the Universal, the theme park stuff. It's a little bit of a different annual pass. This is an annual pass for the Flagstaff Area National Monuments 2022 annual pass. And it was $45 for this annual pass. And how it works is I'm good for the year. I think I can bring in some guests. There's a whole bunch of stuff in terms of the terms. I can bring in like any guests that are in the same car or I think something along those lines for a whole year versus admission. I think when I got there, it looked like $25 where I thought online it was like $18 or something. I can also use this annual pass for the two other national parks in the area. So two visits, this park and one other park, annual pass pays for itself. So yeah, we got all that checked off. I feel like it only makes sense, right? If I'm gonna do one other national park, not to give any spoilers here, but if I'm gonna do one other national monument, which I'm in Flagstaff, I'm gonna do it. And that will pay for itself, no problem. So let's take this, get inside, enjoy some beautiful trails. I got some great recommendations when I was up front too, like the Island Trail, but let me not spend too much time talking. Let's spend some more time walking. Let's get to it. In case you hadn't had a good enough view yet, this is right outside my car. Yep, giant ice block. <laughs> They're just like randomly sporadically placed too. Like there's, no, that's a rock. <laughs> that's ice block, that's a rock. Know the difference. Take a look at these views before I even step in there. That's so, so awesome. I'm gonna figure out my way down there, get my uh, stuff set up and we'll be on our way. Should I, oh, here's another question for you. Okay. Should I go back to my car? Cause I, uh, those maps things I'm now observing that you have. I mean, I like to think it's pretty hard to get lost on Okay, fair enough, fair enough. In addition, it's worth noting that it was really, really cool in that outdoor area there. They've got the whole kind of showing grounds. You can hear the whole backstory and learn about the area. Take a look at this beautiful view up here. Oh my gosh, you can see the island trail way down that way. But this should be maybe the only spot where I can view all this going on. You got cliff dwellings right there. Apparently people used to live in those. And then look at that, more mountains all around us. Whew. This is gonna be fun for sure. Let's check it out. Starting it off with the most iconic here. It's supposed to be the most do, I think, like must do sort of one. It's the island trail. So we're heading down this way. You're gonna see the island trail. You got your water, dirty shoes, sun protection. I got the hat and, and all the warm weather gear too. It's funny, going down is optional. Returning is mandatory. So yes, here we go. Making the trek now. So excited to check it all out. Take a look at this beautiful view again before we even step foot. I feel like I gotta take some pictures here. Maybe I will before we even get going. If you'll excuse my lack of better terminology here, this is freaking incredible. I haven't even started. Oh, I do go down the stairs right here with this incredible view in front of me. I know inside they said I may not get that same view from on the trail, but it seems like at the very beginning of the trail before you even start, of course, there's some information at home for all. Really, really cool to learn about the history. Apparently it's not just Navajo, but it was, I think it sounded like it was the Hopi tribe that, that had some cultural kind of history and ancestry here. Really, really cool to learn about from the different team members here. And oh my gosh, just look at that. Look at that view. You've got the canyons clearly visible on that side, the shadows of the trees above covering those canyons on the right. Wow. I hope this looks as amazing to you as it does to me here in person. It's just, it is absolutely remarkable to see this area. And again, I haven't even started the hike yet. This is just one of multiple trails here, just the very beginning of the trail of one of multiple national monuments in the area, of course. Wow, wow, wow. I was advised when embarking on this trail that I'd be going down some steps on the way starting the trail, but I'm gonna have to come back up the steps on the way back. So be advised of that as well. I got my 1.5 liter water, which you probably saw. I got my snacks, a couple snacks too, you didn't know, all in that backpack right there. We're making our way downwards, but wanted to show you the incredible view and let you know my thoughts here as we're making the walk down and wanted to give you the view behind me as I'm going because Wow, we're just getting this party started. Now it's freezing. My fingers are absolutely frozen. Pulling out my phone is a huge challenge because I have to take off the glove to use it. So I need to get those gloves with little finger things going on. This, this hand is just an iceberg right now, but using the GoPro, no problem. I can keep the gloves on, which is incredibly amazing because I wanna show you every last bit of it. And the GoPro is the device to use for that. You've got your sun back that way. Unfortunately, we won't be able to stay until sunset because they do close around that 4.30 time frame. Oh my gosh, though, I'm telling you, like, look at those, it's the cave dwellings she was talking about. Wow, 
Wow, wow, wow. Canyon going all the way down. Can you imagine? I mean, the first thing that comes to mind to me, I'm like, oh man, you know, if this were uh, not the Fantastic Sprint, if this were something more formally named, you know, I never, never know what that show might be called. You might be doing the bungee jumping into the canyon, or you might be doing the uh, zip lining across the canyon, or rock climbing up and down the canyon. I mean, maybe not this particular canyon, right? This is a national monument, but just like conceptually, I'm like, wow, look at this like miraculous, like incredible view. Like imagine like flying through the, uh, the canyon way here. Wow. I love this. Another series of important reminders. Know your limits, right? Are you prepared to know your limits? Do you have water? Make sure you got that. Oh, wow. I swear, I have to keep stopping for pictures, but it's just too cold to pull out my phone and take all the pictures. This is not fair. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll get the pictures on the way back because my fingers are literal ice cubes right now. But wow. I mean, it's, it's, it's surprising and it's amazing. You'll see there is, there is ice and frozenness down there, but it's just so beautiful. You get so much sunlight during such an icy, snowy time of the year. It's like so, I feel like so fortunate, you know, to be able to be out here and to be able to enjoy the beautiful view and not to be in the rain or the snow in this case. Might be cool to see this in the snow actually too, but you know, for the sun to just be so strong, shining down, warming us up from right here, it's amazing. I was just one of the sunniest places, I think, right? So you got the weird combination of the sun. You got cacti sitting right here. I think this little cactus on this little ledge right there. I mean, wow, what, what, what kind of combination is going on here? It's a crazy. I cannot tell you how stoked I am that I got this annual pass. The time is flying by me here. It's like almost 3 p.m. already, and I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, if I want to do this one and the other trail, which is half an hour, then I got to get rolling here. Here's some cacti behind me, in case you were wondering if I was fibbing about that. The cacti are right here amongst the icy snow. I actually heard about some cacti that only last for like two or three days in the icy snow, and they just barely make it a lot of the time in the area, in the, down in, I guess, maybe closer to Phoenix area, I'm not sure. But yeah, wow, we're, we're making our way, rolling along, and trying to keep an eye on time, but just soaking it in. We're trying to soak it in as much as possible in this period of time. We can come back. We can come back, get more pictures. It'll be even warmer out, I'm sure, when we do, so. It's worth noting, these are prickly pear cacti. Prickly pear cacti grow flat round pads. Yeah, and so much information and history around us too. If you've never been to this area, I feel like you can learn an incredible amount just by being here and taking it all in. Wow. This right here, this is a spot like no other. Look at that view behind me. Oh my gosh. It, it feels like with that trail right there, it feels like I can reach it. There's nothing, there's no bars here, walking rails. I could step down into this piece of the canyon right here in front of us, which makes the view just unbelievably more incredible. Just feels so open and vast in front of us. Wow, I wanna take off my sunglasses so I can just fully immerse it, and that's what I'm doing right now, but the sun is also <laughs> bright, of course. So on and off with the sunglasses, you know, shade from the sunglasses, the hat maybe. I'll pull that back out instead of this little hood. My ears were cold. That's why I grabbed the hood. Look at that. Oh, you can see the trail. It'll even go. Look at that little handrail up there. Wow. Am I really going to go down there? Wow. That's going to be so awesome. I'm just wondering how many of these incredible moments I pause for. Look at that valley down there. You've got the canyon, the valley, the ice, all sitting on the ground at the bottom of that canyon. It's just beautiful. It's it's absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm so glad I have all this warm weather gear. Could I stand for a little bit more? Quite possibly. Yes. But... I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot and again just just pausing and, and really soaking it all in appreciating it all it's incredible it's just so relaxing it's so beautiful yeah this is an annual pass I can see myself getting use out of of course it's not always the most accessible for me based on you know where I spend a good chunk of my time so something to note there as well but man ooh, this is nice this is real nice here's the views as we walk downwards to walk towards that part of the trail. I think it's actually where we're going right now. It's towards the island piece. A little island right there. It seems like we're going to walk around. Oh my gosh, look at those rock formations. Do they look as nice to you as they do to me? It's just like sculpted by waves, I imagine. I mean, is that what the different lines in it are? I don't even know how those formed, but there's no water. <laughs> it's dry. What are you talking about waves, Dave? It's worth noting that the mask is only required inside in the visitor center, but I put it back on just to warm up my nose. <laughs> it's so chilly on my nose. I was thinking about, I'm like, oh, I should have brought like a ski mask or something. But you know what? This will do. This will do. It's got its, uh, it's got its use cases here, keeping you warm as well. But I was using it to take the photos because my fingers were so cold. <laughs> I didn't want to pull out my hands anymore, but I'll have to switch off between 
hands and nose. We'll see. Look at this. Just walking down here right now. That view in front of us of those cliff dwellings. Oh, this is that canyon that I've just been reflecting on over and over from above. And now to see it at a lower level, you know, it's just unbelievable. There's your ice chunks <laughs> keeping us nice and cool down here. Thanks. Thanks, ice sharks. Keep up the good work. But uh, wow, so, so nice. By the way, also signs indicating visit responsibly. When I talk about being open in space, I don't actually mean going out onto there and climbing. I was just saying, like, the fact that it is so open makes it feel that much more beautiful and accessible. And it's good that they're taking those appropriate precautions to keep it in good condition. Look at this, the perfect shelter right here. Might hang out under here for a bit just to stay a little bit warmer. For each room tucked into this wall alcove, no excavation was needed. Wow. Look at that. I mean, can you imagine? Like this is your, uh, your living room right here, your dining room maybe. I can see it, you know. I'm gonna have some lunch. I'm gonna set up the shop right out here. See if we can uh, grab some, uh, some chicken. Not sure how many chickens are out there in the canyon, but yeah, it's a nice spot. It's got an echo for sure, though. If you're sleeping, probably don't wanna you know, step outside if you're gonna have a chat. Another incredible view over here right ahead of us. Just wanna show you those most amazing spots. That, that rock, look at that, how that rock structure down there. Getting a real close view of what I was talking about where it looks like, you know, formed by waves, but I'm sure there's another process for rock formation. You got those cliff dwellings again. Over there, almost looks like you could build in some, some cliff dwellings if there aren't already, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, unbelievable, beautiful trail. All this information to learn, all the ice to see as we're going. It just doesn't even make sense, I feel like, if you ask me. But beautiful to walk, gonna continue to walk it, explore it, see it all, revel in all that beauty right there. Look at that, it's like another house right there, another one of those shelters. Gonna soak in all the beauty of it and so excited to share the most incredible spots with you. I feel like this is amazing already. I'm mind blown. I want to save the most exciting things to share with you on the video. We'll see and just continue to soak it all in myself. But this is just one of so many beautiful sights we're going to see in Arizona. So excited to share it all. I feel like this might even end up becoming its own, own day here in terms of a video. But we'll see how that shakes out for you. Look at that. Wow. Just wow. Take a look at this rock formation here on my left and in front of me. Semi-covered, semi-open. Look at the bright, bright orange, reds, and almost whitish color of this rock. And wow, gets uh, quite massive above us as well, surrounded by trees. Trees is definitely a theme out here too, in front of those homes, like where I'm staying. Wow, just trees left and right. You can hardly see the numbers. But it's just, it's just beautiful. It really is just... There's no better way to put it than just plain, straight up beautiful. As I walk down these steps, I want to make sure I'm watching my step. Take a look at these massive trees, beautiful trees, but massive in front of us with the snow on them. You have some ski spots out here as well, I've heard. And I imagine it might look a little bit like that. But uh, with the snow on the mountain, just like that. But yeah, that's... Uh, Really nice to see. And again, you got the rock formations. It's just left and right, left and right, unbelievable sights and views. And I'm trying to soak it all in, figure out if I wear my glasses or my mask, how to stay warm, but also the sun. <laughs> it's weird, it's a weird dynamic of being like, hey, I need to stay warm, but also the sun is so bright. You know, what's the middle ground there? I don't feel like that's something you experience in many other places either. Oh, I'm actually, uh, I'm starting to feel it. Maybe the mask is a piece of that, but again, I'm keeping it on to stay warm. We'll go back and forth with the mask, but I'm, I'm feeling it in terms of a bit of a cardio. And again, is it cardio or is it breathing because of the mask? Is it cold that's making it harder for me or the altitude that I'm not used to being at? Who knows, but another beautiful view I wanted to share with you. You saw it, that, that's it. <laughs> oh, well, you guessed it. I indeed needed to stop and breathe on the walk back up. So we're continuing slowly, but it's, uh, I'm feeling it. Again, is it uh, cardio? Is it mask? Is it cold altitude combination? Who knows, but this is a hugely amazing, meaningful experience. And I'm just reflecting on all that we have in this country, reflecting on the Native Americans who were the beginning of living in this country 
and the beginning of civilizations in this country and just beautiful vast place in the canyon but also in the country and in the world there's so much to see and now there's so much to see in this one spot while i grab a seat yeah wow now it's time for the rim trail i think i just squeezed it in here with the rim trail i think they're closing up the other one since that one's an hour this one's only half an hour so we gonna go at it but Oh, this is an incredible, incredible day. Incredible experience. I feel like a new person. I've been contemplating all of life all at once. Beautiful place. I gotta put those gloves back on though. It's chilly. Now I'm seeing why this is the rim trail and that's the island trail. That goes down in the beautiful, incredible canyon. This looks like it's going around the rim, around the top, around the outside, or distance. So I'm not sure we'll get all the same views but there's a couple different routes we can go to see different things. Maybe this was one of those things. Oh, this is a viewpoint, looks like right here. But there were a couple different areas I read on that, that front piece we could go see that were parts of. And there's benches, of course, to stop and sit. I wasn't the only one that made me feel a little bit better, but here's your viewpoint. Love that, looking down at it into the canyon. Wow, that is a nice one. Now, this is a fantastic viewpoint here from the Rim Trail looking at that mountain. We kept seeing it from a straight on, but to see it from the angle here, you can really see it extends out like that, and you've got the canyons on either side of it, making it, of course, the island that we walked the island trail around. Seating areas, I heard this way was a viewpoint, and then on the way back, the Pueblo, so we can check out that area, see what that looks like. But it's a nice, nice little walking trail, not, not as incredible, if you ask me, as the island trail. I do see why that's the iconic one. But you've got really interesting, you know, the grass design with the very light yellow, even almost a white. It reminds you of that desert vibe. And it's like desert, freezing, like I'm confused, you know? I, I'm confused. What's going on? But man, great time and such an experience. It's, it's, I'll be back probably, hopefully soon. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this appears to be the final viewpoint on the Rim Trail. Take a look down there, again, covering the sun with my face. But I'm sure it looks beautiful for you. With the sun, look at the mountain. Wow, this is, this is a, a view, a viewpoint for sure. I love this one. I don't, I don't know if it's my favorite viewpoint, but I just gotta be up there. I mean, look at that. You've got, you've got the rocky canyon, you've got the tree-covered canyon right here, the island peninsula going on right there. And then over there, you got your snowy ones with the shade coming down on it from the sun. And then this is the bright one. We're standing on it where the sun is pouring right down on us. Beautiful, beautiful spot. Again, gonna have to find somewhere else, hopefully for sunset, but nice to see this while it's light. This time on our way back, making the turn to the Pueblo area. Let's go check that area out again. We heard a couple sights to see up this way, and we're gonna see what that looks like while we're still here at Walnut Canyon. The trail continues this way, but I see what looks like a pretty cleanly paved out walkway here with some tables. I'm not sure what's back here, but I think this is walkable. And it looks like you've got a bit of a picnic area back here. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I guess it keeps going around. Maybe this is part of that Pueblo because again, you've got the walking trail and that trail looks like they loop around and maybe meet. Let me go back that way and see if the two meet. I'm not sure. Yeah, so I'm starting to see now, again, the trail that feeds back in there. It looks like this is one of those two that she showed me, but maybe this is just like a picnic area back here. So interesting setup and it does seem like you've got your trash and and other waste areas back here. So interesting to see, like a little picnic area back here looks like as one of the two sites to see as we head back in this direction towards, I imagine the second site, the Pueblo. We'll see. Here we go, I think this is what we're looking for back here. You've got this little roof going on over this area. I would have thought it was a cooking area. It says digging in right here. Uh, it does the pit houses. So it does seem like, you know, like I was thinking of a fire pit, you know, like a, bonfire type thing. It seems like this pit house may have started as a home and later become storage. So, okay, maybe not necessarily a fire pit, but cool to see it. Oh, there is some more out here. Look at this sustainable housing masonry. Would you look at that? They started using the stones, like individual stones, not like, you know, <laughs> the canyon itself. But you've got individual stone, seems like houses or structures here. Really, really interesting. And again, you see footprints here too. I'm wondering if those are, uh, Maybe from the employees making sure the place stays in good shape. 
I was I was gonna say oh they could be native you know but that doesn't make sense it looks like shoes so <laughs> continuing down this way I think that's one of the two and continuing down this way it's a little bit confusing maybe this was the other one but I'm gonna try that path to see where that takes us before heading back in the main road direction so I almost feel like this is taking me back to the parking lot but I didn't think that uh, I thought I just went back on the same trail kind of kind of confusing here how this works but it does seem like that's where I'm at so yeah I'm not quite sure and then there's another trail this way little stone structure in there but that, that seems more modern than you might think so interesting and then this sign right here where i'm exiting from does say pueblo and structures 335 feet that way so yeah i think i think we caught it had a chance to see it in all its glory really really amazing beautiful sights to see here at walnut canyon so glad we had a chance to see it walnut canyon national monument beautiful place and I'm so glad I had the chance to stop by. So much more fun on the itinerary. I gotta grab food tonight too, figure out where I'm gonna watch this sunset, but man, this was nice. Thanks, Walnut Canyon. It's also worth noting I got some information here when I checked in and I drove in. Didn't even bother to look at it previously, but here we go. Walnut Canyon, look at that. It is drawn by the waters in Walnut Creek. Really interesting. You've got the other two as well included here. Wupatki, I guess, and Sunset Crater. What do you think? Should I, uh, should I make sure I hit those two up as well? Love to hear your thoughts. And... All kinds of great information. I got the other one as well, which has some really interesting artwork here and some information about the canyon homes and all that, exploring Walnut Canyon. Got this side, and I think it does have a little map right there at the bottom of this particular venue. So there it is. Oh my gosh, what an amazing time here at Walnut Canyon. So glad I had a chance to experience it. Absolutely incredible. But really, really chilly out there. Still trying to warm back up. I feel like my nose is running and all kinds of stuff. So stay warm. If you're making the trek, you might consider summertime. Although I hear Phoenix itself gets hot, so pros and cons. And I'm not sure if this is the first time I've turned on to it, but ladies and gentlemen, Route 66. And I head this way, get my kicks. I'm only gonna be on it for a minute or two until I uh, turn off onto the next street, but this is Route 66. Oh, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Buffalo Park. Welcome to it. Excited to share Buffalo Park with you. My Airbnb host recommended Buffalo Park as a great place to see the sunset. So I'm excited to share that with you, but it's a beautiful aesthetic, even right out front here as well. So here it is just inside the Buffalo Park area. It's it's quite cold. I'm, uh, I'm really feeling the chills out here. I was like, if I go back to the car, wait in the car longer, don't know. But here's the information. Apparently it's a trail system. You got a loop trail going on walk that whole thing two miles looks like so maybe we'll do that and maybe that would be the right way to see it or maybe it's just a view from here it seems pretty flat so we'll see interesting to learn about all this information here the buffalo and, and the wildlife but there's there's one scary one on here can you guess which one it is we've got the american kestrel the flagstaff orange tarantula the two-tailed swallowtail and the western chorus frog any uh any guesses which one seems uh something like i wouldn't want to run into it any guesses anybody Hmm? Yeah. So I'm thinking we give this hike a shot. You are here, apparently, and you've got the Avery Loop Trail going on over there. It goes all the way around. I'm not sure if you're supposed to go this way and come around that way or the other way around, uh, how, what the elevation is like. But you know what? Let's give it a shot. I'm going to try to stay warm while we do it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go in the left direction, just in case we, uh, you know, decide it's a little too chilly to keep going. So let's, let's see, see how things shake out out here. So it begins. I am indeed following the grain, following the, uh, the multiple people heading in this direction uh, to go the full length of the two-mile walk here at Buffalo Park. Beautiful view if you look ahead of us. It's just a stretch of land that just goes on forever. The sunset's going to be over on our left, but this walk is also going to take us in that leftward direction. There was a, uh, a kind of walkway over that way. I'm thinking maybe that's where most people are exiting because it seems like everybody's walking down this way. So I'm going to follow the traffic see where it takes us this must be like the right way to do it you know like you get to see for example look at those mountains right how would you feel if you're walking backwards away from those beautiful mountains there's an icy one in the back there these ones seeming more grassy right now that one's got the snow peak crazy so nice to see all of it out here another question or bit of confusion it seems like you can go right that way which seemed like it was a trail wait actually maybe that's a dead end up there i'm not quite sure and then there's this way and, and people are going this way so again following the grain here but I thought it did go off to the right before it comes back around to the left. We'll see. See what happens. I don't know if this will be like super sunset viewing or if it's just like experiencing the sunset 
while you're doing a trail, but it is freezing. I cannot get over it. I'm putting these gloved hands in my pockets because it just feels like it's that much colder now. So stay warm if you, if you come out here. Yet another divergence here on our left. You got those beautiful mountains in the background. Look at that as we get closer and closer. That's beautiful to see. But I'm, I'm, I'm honestly considering and reconsidering just because it's so cold. I'm like, I cannot get warm enough on this one. So do I turn back? I mean, maybe. We'll see. It's also just such a beautiful park, though. Like, unbelievable. You got those mountains right there. And again, we're closing in on the icy peak ones back that way. So lots to see. Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to uh, I think I'm gonna abort this one for now. It's, it's just, it's beautiful to see. I love to experience it, but it's way too cold out here for me. I, I, I don't know how people are, are hanging <laughs> in much less attire than I am, but making my way back. We'll get some food and we'll do this trail another night. Oh my gosh, yes. So I am aborting a mission officially, almost back to that entryway. This is what you call unbearable cold, literally. I could not bear it, so <laughs> next time, son, but maybe not because it's what, it was 20 degrees out here. I'm not sure if it's, it's still at least in the 20s, if not colder at this point. So yeah, it's, it's chilly. Maybe it's, maybe it's still in the 20s. I, actually, at one point I think it was 30, but <laughs> it's cold. So cool park, too cold, too cold park, too cool of a park. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And that is what we call unbearable cold. I'm absolutely frozen right now. So glad I didn't stay out there. I'm uncomfortable, very uncomfortable, freezing. I'm wondering if it was even more cold out there because of the wind and that open land area because it was so open versus the trees help keep you warmer here. I'm cranking up the heat, I'm gonna get dinner and we gonna, we gonna see the sun another day. Next up is dinner. We're at Las Gorditas Mexican food. And let me show you the outside of the store from inside the car, nice and warm. You can see right there, a little storefront going on. Not, not massive, but we gonna walk in there. It had great reviews. So hopefully there's places for us to sit and all that. And we'll, uh, we'll see how it is. Number one, please. Onion, please. Yes, let's do that. Uh, let's do the horchata, please. Just left Las Gorditas. And as you can tell, the sun has indeed set. It's dark outside, but the sun is just having set, so it's not all that dark yet. So you can see, still see me, hopefully, pretty decently. Take a look around Las Gorditas here. You can see really local style, family style establishment here. Nice to see the setup. They've got a few booths, a lot of people ordering takeout. The people that I am seeing ordering, I'm not saying. Like, there's a few people ordering, but most people who ordered, I was the only person who sat in the restaurant. So if you'll take a look around here. I'm the only one seated at the restaurant enjoying my food, but you've got chips here with the sauce. You can serve your own sauces. It looks like four kinds of sauces here. I went ahead and got the horchata to go with my Mexican combination plate. It was quite good. Nice quantity of flavor there. Really, really nice kick to that, what is it, like a teriyaki style seasoning on that beef in there. And I really enjoyed the horchata. That was very well done with the cinnamon and the vanilla, just delicious. That's the way horchata should be done. So fantastic on that front as well. Overall, small local family style establishment. Glad I had the chance to check it out. Pretty, pretty tasty, pretty cool to see. And again, very, very kind of local feel to it, which is nice. And now that I've completed dinner, I'm heading back in home in order to stay warm for the remainder of the night. It's quite chilly out there, but excited to share tomorrow's adventures with you. Thanks so much for helping make today an amazing day. Don't forget to make your day an incredible day as well. Make sure you focus on the positive vibes, look for the silver lining in everything you do, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures. Until next time, play on. Thank you.